G'day, it's Shane Dowling here from Kangaroo Court of Australia.com. I'm just outside the New South Wales Supreme Court. I wanted to read out a paragraph in a judgment. Now, the judgment is in the matter Capilano Honey versus Shane Dowling. It was handed down on the 4th of April. Uh, it was handed down by Justice Lucy McCallum. The judgment was in relation to an application to have her stand down for perceived bias, a recusal application. I never ultimately pressed it, it was the other party who were pressing it, and Justice McCallum decided not to stand down. And chapter or paragraph 20 states, separately, in addition to the matters listed by the plaintiff, the following further matters are relevant to the objective test in the present case. First, Mr Dowling has now criticised many judges. As already noted, the publications were not in evidence on the application, but it was common ground. The plaintiffs relied on the fact that Mr Dowling has asserted in an email, which I've never seen, that numerous judicial officers are pedophiles or suspected pedophiles, and has also raised allegations of judicial bribery. Mr Dowling has stated in a subsequent email that I was named in the previous email as a suspected pedophile. In my assessment, the volume and vehemence of, vehemence of such publications would tend to dilute the impact of anything Mr Dowling has previously said about me. I have become one of a large mob. Now, I'll have more to say about that in a minute. Now, I thought I'd read that out while I was at the Supreme Court. The judgment by Justice Lucy McCallum is a real game changer because it puts on the public record allegations of judicial bribery and uh, judges being pedophiles. Um, you can see that judgment on OSLI or case law, which are the websites that store the judicial decisions. So it's not being suppressed. That means we can finally have that debate that needs to be had. Uh, because far too often we see judges that are giving pedophiles three months jail, six months jail, sometimes even suspended sentences, when the reality is uh, precedents show that they should be getting five years and ten years jail. So why aren't they and why are the judges protecting them? Now I'm going to be writing an article on that. It'll be published on my website on the 30th of June. The title of the article is Accusing a Judge of Being a Pedophile or Bribe Taker is Not a Crime Rule, Justice Lisa McKellum. So I'll have further information on that on there and I'll be doing a follow-up uh, article hopefully in the next week or so. Thank you.